this was Big 12 Media Days, right? Now, we just talked about the ACC possibly adding SMU. Well, what we have here is Big 12 Media Days. Brett Yormark has, he made multiple, multiple comments. Um, But he did say, conference composition is once again at the forefront of college athletics. I've been very involved with the stakeholders both inside and outside the Big 12 regarding our path forward and opportunities to grow both the Big 12 brand and business. Now, he talked multiple times about uh, making the brand a little more hip, a little younger, etc., trying to establish these Big 12 brands uh, as something other than what they are known right now. Uh, He said Bob Bowlesby is going to be an incredible resource for him. Uh, He did say one thing is for sure, the Big 12 is open for business. We will leave no stone unturned to drive value for the conference. Now, Again, does SMU add value for a conference that already has four institutions inside the state of Texas? That I'm not sure of. That might make more sense for the ACC or the Pac-12. He did say, uh, as far as realignment goes, exploration and optionality is at the forefront of what we're focused on. Anything considered must be additive and not dilutive. Now, this, of course, goes back to what I have said multiple times on this show you are getting to a point of diminishing returns on a per-school basis for these conferences. You can't just bring in a school just to have some kind of an even number or whatever. You have to bring somebody that brings in value for everybody. Because if you were to bring in SMU to the SEC, that doesn't do anything for ESPN and your TV uh, partners, right? Because at that point, they're only going to give you a little bit more, and then if you're going to start trying to split it you know, evenly, every school is not going to make the same amount as they would have if they did not have SMU. So that's why you don't hear SMU to the SEC, et cetera. Uh, that's why you've only seen in the last however many years since the Texas A&M and in the Maryland and all that, you haven't seen a whole lot of realignment because there's not a lot of teams out there that bring a ton of value. What you've seen is Oklahoma, Texas, USC, and UCLA. Massive brands that bring huge footprints and huge, huge value to those conferences that will increase the value per school for each of the schools that are already in your conference. Uh, He did say as far as the interest on Pac-12 schools, we are exploring all options and we are open for business. I think it's fair to say I've received a lot of phone calls, a lot of interest. Nothing is imminent. Now, obviously nothing is imminent, uh, but we all kind of saw it as a pretty far gone conclusion that the Pac-12 was just done and Utah and Colorado and Arizona and Arizona State were going to the Big 12. That does not appear to be the case now. I I don't think we're going to see a lot of movement. Uh, You might see some at the lower levels, and if the ACC were to bring in SMU, certainly that would make the AAC do something. But, eh, I mean, what I'm looking at, you know, again, the AAC added enough schools to get back up to 16, I believe it is. Or no, 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 I guess it'd be 14 after those other schools leave. Regardless, I think I think you're going to see even more. You're going to see these conferences get up to 16 teams, and then there will be some that just go away. And I think the ones that go away won't be those major conferences, like the Pac-12 or the ACC, etc. What you're going to see is Conference USA goes away, or the MAC decides to split up and go into different directions, etc. Something along those lines. Uh, the most likely, of course, at this point is Conference USA. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.